Hello Bridgewater College Teacher Education Program students. In today's screencast you're going to learn to use two of the really fun and powerful tools that come with notebook software. One is the screen capture tool and just as the title implies with it you'll be able to copy parts of a computer screen and to insert them into your lesson that is insert them into your notebook software file. You might copy part of a picture that you've taken with your digital camera. You might copy part of a screen that's from an internet page and so forth. We'll learn to do both as you go through this screencast today. We're also going to take a look at the magic pen tool and find that it's a really fun tool that you can use. Let's begin by noticing that the screen capture tool is a tool right up here at the top. It looks like a camera. When I click it, at the bottom of my screen, I get a window that implies that I can screen capture somehow using this window. Let's see how it's used. First, I think I'll open up a picture that I took with my digital camera. So I'll simply go to my file folders and I'll go to my picture collection. And here's a picture right here. I'll just double click to open that picture. And that's a picture of my grandson and me. I would like to take part of this picture, namely take my grandson and put him into my smartboard file but not me. So to do so I'm going to use the tool that's on the left. It'll enable us to take part of a picture, part of an image and put it onto our notebook file. If I wanted to get the entire screen or even the entire window I would use one of these other icons but the one that you will probably use most often is the first one. So let's click and see what happens. Notice that when I do my cursor switches to a plus sign. What I'm going to do now is to draw a rectangle that surrounds Henry, but not me. So I'll put my cursor in the upper left-hand side, and I'll drag diagonally toward the right-hand side, and then just let go. I'm sure you heard the noise. It sounded like a camera taking a picture. Now when I go back to my notebook software by just clicking on the icon here at the, on my taskbar, notice that the picture of just Henry has been inserted into my notebook file. In addition, I have those other options that we've learned to use, such as the button here, which enables me to make the picture smaller. But be careful with this. If I drag, I might distort the picture some. So I'm going to undo what I just did. Pick, click on the undo button. This time I'm going to hold the shift key down while I drag. Now it, it keeps everything in proportion, and I've got a much better, larger picture of Henry now as part of my file. How about if I show you another example of using the screen capture? Just as a completely different example, maybe I would like to have a web page that I've found copied onto my notebook file. I've clicked on Internet Explorer this time, and what I have in front of me is a flowchart that describes what math courses a student takes as he goes through 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, and so forth through 12th grade of high school. So for example, a student might take Algebra 1 in grade 8, Geometry, might take Computer Math, could go to Algebra 2, and so forth. So this is a flowchart that I would like to put into my notebook file to show my students. So I'll use the screen capture tool. I'll click on the one on the far left, which enables me to take part of the picture. I'll drag to form that rectangle and let go. Now when I do, the screen capture automatically inserts the picture on a new page. And to prove my point, let's go back to notebook software. And now I have a third page. I have the original title page that we started with. I have the page that has Henry on it. And then now I have the page that has the flowchart copied onto it from the other website. Let's go back to Henry for a second and we're going to learn to use that other tool of the day which happens to be the magic pen. To get to the magic pen tool we'll go to our pen tool. This time though we're going to select magic pen. Magic pen just enables you to highlight part of what's visible on the screen. You could do this with your mouse or you can do it with your finger on the actual smart board itself. Now for example I'm going to draw an oval shape around Henry's eyes. Just a 
oval shape drawn by hand, watch what happens. It, it emphasizes that part. Pretty cool, huh? This time, I'm going to draw a rectangle shape around his eyes. Just a hand-drawn rectangle, not perfect. Watch what happens here. It magnifies what you've drawn. So that's two examples of using the magic pen. Turns out we're going to have other uses of the magic pen in future screencasts. But for now, I thought I would show you the screen capture tool and the magic pen tool. You'll be using that screen capture tool a lot when you have information on one piece of software or one website that you want to insert into your notebook file. It's a very handy tool to use. Notice it's still up on my screen. And for me to turn that off, I simply make sure I have my arrow key selected and click the X. And now the screen capture tool is no longer active. Hope this has been useful to you. In your next screencast, you're going to learn how to find smartboard files that other people have created and learn to alter them for your own purposes. See you then. Thank you.